All right, a quick update on this old Mappin and Webb carriage clock. Here it is here. I had stripped this down to nothing. I had uh, cleaned it up, oiled all the parts, as you can see. The one part I had problem with was this gear in the back. If you can look at that gear there, it's turning around. And it's exactly 90 degrees to the action needed by the escapement. So the escapement is in the top here. And if I zoom in on the escapement and the little feet on there, you see that escapement turning away there nicely? Well, it's working now. The only way I had to adjust this, or the only way I could adjust this, is I took these four screws. One's there, and one is there, and then there's two of them in the back. And I had to loosen those up and just swing that uh, escapement uh, back and forth until I got perfect meshing of the pinion of this escapement. There's the escapement in the center. The pinion of that escapement and that crazy wheel in the back whose name I don't know or can't remember that wheel right there that's turning so I had to have perfect meshing of those two once I had perfect meshing of those two then I actually had to take the back door off and open the back door and there is a screw right here that screw right there that screw right there is actually on the end of the pivot for that crazy wheel, the 90 degree wheel that you're looking at there, it's on the end. And what that does is allows you to fine tune the adjustment and snug this wheel up against that uh, pinion, the pinion for the escapement that's on the top. So that adjustment had to be made. Once that was made, uh, this uh, watch has been running like a charm with crazy, crazy good amplitude. So there's my update on this uh, very nice uh, mapping and web uh, carriage clock a thing of beauty thing weighs a ton um, so that's the first carriage clock I've ever done any work on um, I just wanted to give you an update on what had to be done to fine-tune this because it kept stopping but you really have to undo the screws there and then shift it back and forth until you get the perfect uh, meshing of that that gear with the uh, pinion of the escapement so thanks for watching my video uh, any comments would be welcome and there you go it's working exceptionally well for the last two days